Welcome to the Database Editor online tutorial. This video will outline the necessary steps to add a new material database in the Database Editor and explain how to use this custom material in the Woodwork software. As mentioned in the introduction to the Database Editor video, the Database Editor allows you to add and customize material databases. You can pick from a variety of materials such as, but not limited to, sawn lumber, glue lamb, structural composite lumber, and CLT. The first step is selecting Custom from the Database Editor Type drop-down menu. Then, you must decide which member type your customized material will be used for, for example, beams, joists, columns, wall studs, or panels. Finally, click on the Add icon button. Alternatively, you can click on the Add button which can be found through the Edit tab. In this example, we will be adding a 5-ply S1 grade CLT panel. This grade consists of laminated veneer lumber LVL, in all longitudinal and transverse layers, as specified in Annex A of the Standard for Performance Rated Cross-Laminated Timber, often referred to as PRG320. The material properties for a 5-ply S1 grade CLT panel will be taken directly from Table A1 and A2 of Annex A of PRG320, published in 2019. Let's begin. Make sure to have the database type set as custom, and then select panels from the member type drop-down menu. Select any material from the material list and click on the Add icon. The new material dialog box will open. We will name the material CLT underscore S1 and we will assume a value of 0.1 as the coefficient of variation for modulus of elasticity. Finally, we will choose the cross laminated timber option from the list of material types. Click on OK to continue. Select the New Species option listed in the Species column and click on the Edit Icon button. The Species Properties dialog box will open. Type LVL as the species name and enter an assumed weight of 40 pound per cubic foot. Select the New Grade option listed in the Grade column and click on the Edit Icon button. The Grade Properties dialog box will open. Type S1 as the grade combination name. Begin populating the allowable stresses starting with bending. Enter a value of 2250 as FB in the longitudinal and transverse direction. For compression, enter a value of 1950 as FC in the longitudinal and transverse direction. Note that the value for compression perpendicular to grain is not available in the PRG320 standard. Therefore, let's assume a value of 700. For shear, enter a value of 40 as FS in the longitudinal and transverse direction. For tension, enter a value of 1,500 as FT in the longitudinal and transverse direction. Finally, the modulus of elasticity. Since the units are expressed as million PSI, enter a value of 1.5 as E in the longitudinal and transverse direction. Once you have entered the properties, click on OK to continue. Select the new section option listed in the sections column and click on the edit icon button. The sections properties dialog box will open. Let's start with the actual size, which is expressed in inches. Enter a depth of 7.5 inches. Under the nominal size section, which is expressed in inches, enter the same panel depth of 7.5 inches. Continue by entering the number 5 under the layer section. Note that the individual thickness of each layer of lumber in the panel is equal to 1.5 inches. 
That being said, enter a value of 1.5 for the longitudinal and transverse thickness. Since the panel grate is a standard layout, in other words alternating longitudinal and transverse layers, make sure the standard perpendicular configuration option is chosen. Finally, the stock length. Enter a value of 64 feet, assuming that the maximum stock length of an S1 grade CLT panel is 64 feet. Here's a key point to remember. The value entered as the stock length is not used in the calculations, but if the design length entered in sizer is greater than the stock length listed in the database editor, as shown in this existing material database, a warning message stating that the member length exceeds the stock length will appear in the design check calculation sheet results, as shown in this example using the material CLT underscore S1 with a stock length of 64 feet. Once you are finished entering the properties, click on OK to continue. We are one step closer to being able to use our custom material in Woodwork Sizer. Make sure to save the material database by clicking on the Save icon button. In order for the changes to take effect, close the Sizer program if it's open, followed by the Database Editor application. Reopen the Sizer program and design a CLT floor panel using the new material we created. Simply change the material to CLT underscore S1 and choose the depth of 7.5 feet. Note, the species, grade, and width of the panel are grayed out because we only created one species, one grade, and one section. You can follow the exact same procedure if you wish to add different material databases. Don't forget to watch our other training videos, follow our step-by-step -step tutorials, and browse through the user guide, all of which can be found on our website at woodworks-software.com. Thanks for watching!